After loading in your reference images, we're going to begin on the left view. Now we can start creating a sketch. Create a sketch by hitting the Create drop down menu and selecting Create Sketch. Now select the plane. Now that we're in sketch mode, we're going to hit the Create drop down menu, go to Rectangle, Two Point Rectangle, and we're going to start from the bottom right of the reference. Move the mouse slightly and enter 14.033, hit Tab, 14.575, and press Enter. That should give you a rectangle matching your reference. Now go to the Create drop down and select Line. And now we can use the line to further match the reference. Once complete, we can use the trim icon to clip off any access areas of the line. Under the canvases drop down, we can toggle on the front reference image. Left click on the sketch to select it. Once selected, right click and go to press pull to extrude it. Now enter the value 7.061 and change the direction from one side to symmetric and click OK. Now go to the front view and compare the body with the reference. Back on the left view, select the surface and go to create sketch by either hitting the icon, right click, going down to create sketch, or maybe even hitting the create drop down menu and selecting create sketch. Now use the line icon above or hit the create drop down menu and select line to better match the grayed out section of the reference. And if your lines are off a tad bit, it doesn't really matter, we'll adjust those later. Also, just ignore the rounded edges for now because we're gonna fix those here in a bit. To reference another line, just hover over a point and just drag your mouse out. Now we can start adjusting some of the lines that are a bit off by left clicking and dragging them. We can now start to round off some of those edges by using the fillet icon above or hitting the modified drop down and selecting fillet. To activate, select the corners that you want rounded and use the blue arrow to adjust the parameters. Once you're satisfied with the result, right click and hit OK to finalize. Now exit sketch mode by selecting finish sketch. Now select the new profile sketch, right click, press pull. Now adjust the blue arrow to create a new body. But before pressing OK, ensure that the direction is set to one-sided and the operation is set from cut to new body. Now with the new body selected, we're going to mirror it to the opposite side by hitting the Create drop-down and going to Mirror. With the object already selected, we have to select the mirror plane now. To do that, we're going to rotate around and we're going to select it through the body. To select it through the body, just hold the left mouse button and select YZ. Once satisfied, hit OK. Now select the Combine icon above, or hit the Modify drop-down and select Combine. For the target body, select Body 1. For Tool Body, select Body 2 and 3. And make sure the operation is set to Cut, not Join, so we can Boolean those shapes from the big shape. Once satisfied, hit OK. Back in the front view, turn on the front view reference image. Select the surface and create sketch. Now use the line tool to draw a horizontal line from left to right, matching the reference image. Once complete, right click and hit OK. Now select the profile sketch, right click, press pull, and rotate around to the left view and turn on the reference image so we can match the reference. Now adjust the blue arrow to align with the reference. Ignore this first block and ensure the operation is set to cut, not join, and press OK. Rotate back to the front view, select the bottom half of the surface, and create a sketch. Now back in sketch mode, we can use the two-point rectangle that we used earlier to match this reference. Now go to the Create drop-down and select Rectangle Pattern. Double-click to select the profile, then use the blue arrow to duplicate a long path. Once satisfied, click OK. Hold down Shift while selecting to select multiple. Right click, go to press pull, and drag the arrow closer to the body to create a cut. Ensure the operation is set to cut, then press OK. Back in the front view, select the upper half of the surface and create a sketch. Now use the two-point rectangle 
to match the references panel. Also leave a little gap in between the panel and the orange area. Once complete, right click and press OK to finalize. Now select the surface and right click and press pull. Now you'll see why I said to ignore this area earlier because now we're creating that panel. Once we're satisfied with the matching of the reference, make sure the operation is set to new body, not join. Now back in the front view, we can select the surface of the panel and go to create sketch. Now we can use the two point rectangle that we were using earlier to start outlining some of the reference. Hey guys, don't forget to utilize the rectangle pattern tool. It'll save you a lot of time and headache. Also, don't forget holding down shift while selecting enables you to select more than one object at a time. Now let's press pull these selections and bring them in so we can make some cuts. After that operation, toggle back on the previous sketch and let's start creating some pipes. Go to the create drop down and select pipe. To activate, select the line that you want to be a pipe and use the blue arrow to adjust the parameters. Once satisfied, ensure that the operation is set to cut so we can boolean this operation. To repeat the previous action, right click and go up to select pipe. Let's select this rectangle plane and extrude inwards to create a cut operation. Now let's select the smaller rectangle and create another extrusion, but this one will go out instead of in. Also, make sure the operation is set to join, not cut, nor new body. Now we're going to select the surface of the new rectangle we just extruded and we're going to create a sketch. Now I'm going to use the circle diameter circle to outline the reference. Once satisfied, we're going to right click and press pull and do a cut operation. Now select the surface of the newly cut circle and create sketch. Now we're going to go to modify drop down, choose offset. Let's rotate around and choose the perimeter of the circle. Scroll out and use the blue slider to adjust the perimeter. We're going to make it just a little bit smaller than the original circle. Once satisfied, we're going to hit OK, then we're going to extrude outwards. Also ensure the operation is set to join, not new body or cut. Now we can round off this sharp edge. So we're going to press F on the keyboard to enter fillet mode. I'm going to select the edge. We're going to use the blue arrow to adjust, and once satisfied, we're going to hit OK. And that pretty much wraps up this part of the video. I'll see you guys next week for part two.